Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so much. Now, I have been absent from YouTube largely because the area where I live, Jacksonville, Alabama, was hit by a tornado, an EF3 tornado. So I have been part of the cleanup efforts as well as the recovery efforts. If you want to go ahead and help out the Double Read Studio that did actually end up sustaining some losses from the tornado, you can pick up an Aaron Oft Out of the Box t-shirt. Now, Aaron Oft Out of the Box is the album I recently recorded. I did do t-shirts for that and the proceeds from all of the t-shirts go and fund the recovery efforts for the JSU Double Read Studio. So I will leave a link to those in the description box down below so that you can have a haul from watching this haul video. Okay, let's go ahead and dig into the goodies that I've been buying because it's not like I have stopped purchasing the goods that I need in order to continue my career. Okay, my favorite bassoon stand because I own four or five different types, and I do have a video on some of the bassoon stands that I own. I will leave a link to that as well in the description box. This one is my favorite, and it's the reeds and stuff. The bit that went wrong with it, the stand when I originally purchased it, um, I believe had screws that were cross-threaded. There was nothing that could be done about it. I could not get the screws apart. I didn't realize it until it was after the fact, and because I'd ordered from Europe, I was hesitant to try to return it. So I went ahead and kept it. Now, because it was cross-threaded, it was just a matter of time until the original screw broke off. I contacted Forest Double Reeds, which I know carry these stands now, and I asked them for the replacement screws. They sent me the replacement parts. Unfortunately, though, I do believe Reeds and Stuff has changed changed their uh, stands because the replacement parts that Forrest sent me did not fit. So as I should have done to begin with, I went to the hardware store. My bassoon stand works as good as ever and it holds the bassoon safely, so that's what I care about. Now when I did order from Forrest, because I know I am so hard on all of my bassoon products, I mean, I use them every day for hours on end. I want to make sure that I take care of them. And Forrest carries a bag that you guys had mentioned so I can transport my reason stuff stand on the go now. I also picked up several goodies for a read journal video. I love creating a journal so that I can document what is happening with different vendors that I'm purchasing cane from as well as different cane styles. You guys have asked to see a video about what I include in my read journal as I am taking notes and I am going to be covering that in an upcoming video. But I also wanted to show you that when I am doing my journaling, I want to make sure that my journal is a place that I want to be and it's a place that I want to take notes. And part of that is having some fantastic decorating ideas for my journal. Next up are two very tiny tip profiles. Now, these go with my Andante Arando tip profiling machine. I had Giorgio send me these. Uh, he contacted me and he asked me about the machine and I said that I didn't use it as much as I had anticipated, largely because the Aaron Off style cane from Barton Cane comes with such a good tip on it already. I find that tip profile that I had with the Andante and Rondo, it didn't take any cane off. So, Giorgio, being a fantastically obliging man, him of course being the president of Andante and Rondo, he sent me two additional tips. Now, the original one that my tip profiling came with was the 4016. The 4016 he mentioned is the least likely to create waves, liked by everybody across the board. That being said, I am very specific and I do like a very thin tip on the reed because I want that response to be there as a pianist, sissimo, quietest dynamics, and I know I need to go thinner than the uh, micrometic dimensions. So he went and he sent me the 7002 and the 6002. I will be putting these on my tip profiling machine. I will be sure to go ahead and give you a full review of the tip profiling machine because several of you have asked for that. From Amazon.com, I went ahead and picked up a lead testing kit. This is going to be a future video that is coming at you. I wanted to test the reed wires that I do have, the minimal amounts of lead that could be possibly in those different types. <gasps> so that I could share that information with you. I have a mandrel for Miller Marketing as well as a reamer. These are part of the Affordable Read Tools kit. I already have a Miller Pro mandrel and I have all of the other elements in the kit. I asked Justin to send me this extra one so that I can do a giveaway. So in the future, I will be doing a full giveaway that has all of the materials that you will need, including some gouge shaped and profiled cane to help you on your read making journey. So if you don't wanna miss that video, make sure that you're subscribed. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this bassoon goodies haul and you can comment down below with the goodies that you guys have been purchasing. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't wanna miss any of those future giveaways or a video, be sure to 
click that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye!